Hey guys, Luke from TechGeek.biz. Today we are looking at how to install Django CMS. Um, this is for an existing installation of a Django. So we are going to follow roughly this um, tutorial. So I'll put this link in there as well, but we are going to have to do some things differently because obviously this uh, tutorial on the Django website is for a fresh install. But if you already have Django uh, up and running and you want to have a CMS as well, this is what we're actually going to do today. Um, for a self plug as well, I'm going to add it to one of my websites, which is a quicktimemanagement.com, which is just a website I use for time management, um, just to see what you've done throughout the day and sometimes just to remind you to get up every 25 or 50 minutes or 55 minutes, um, get out of your seat and actually move around. Yeah, I find it quite handy. But yeah, we're going to add a blog site onto this, so at the end of the day we'll probably have something like slash blog, um, like that, and it'll actually work, and it'll be good. Cool, so moving along. Um, we are going to be using a few different things as well. Um, there is a bit of fiddling around. Um, so hopefully if we follow everything, it's all going to work, and if not, uh, <laughs> it's not going to work. Um, it can be a bit uh, tedious. So we are going to start with your requirements file. So if you don't have a requirements file in um, your Django setup, I highly recommend one. You can start one already if you just type. It depends on if you're Windows or Linux as well, but it starts off as a pip freeze and I'll show you what you have installed already and then you can just output that into a requirements file. Um, I'm pretty sure if you do output like that to like that, it should work for Windows and Linux is different again. I always get the two confused, sorry, so if that doesn't work, um, actually we can test, test it. Let's see if it works. Let's see if I have it in there now. There it is. There we go. It does work in Windows. That means I don't know how to output it in Linux. I'm pretty sure it's pip freeze. You might be able to pipe it. Just to a file. Like that. that .txt. Something like that. Anyway, let's move along. So I'm just going to delete that. Now we may, we know that does work. Delete. All right. So you have a requirements file. So they do recommend on the website itself. Whoops, wrong one. That you are running Django 3.2. So I haven't tried it with a newer version. Um, I have upgraded. Uh, previous versions to 3.2, which is a long-term uh, one. So, yeah, so that's easily fixed and you want to test. All right, so we hit, this should already be done. And now we're going to add uh, uh, pip install Django to CMS to our requirements file. Not sure why I closed it. Cool. So you see here I've added Django CMS. Um, if you want to copy and paste this list, I um, will put it in the um, on the website, not the description, because there's going to be a few pieces like this. So from here on down is what they actually um, in the tutorial they do recommend you install. Um, so yeah. So. You can obviously copy and paste this and save in the requirements file and then afterwards you can just install. So you can just do pip all and start pip pip install dash r and then just type in requirements and then it'll go off and install everything which I did this a minute ago just to make sure it worked. Cool. That's it for installation. You'll see that there are a couple other ones like videos and Django Ma uh, Google Maps, Django Maps, got Django on the mind, uh, files and links. Um, these are their recommended ones that are pretty handy. So yeah, I am just put, chucked them in there. Cool. So moving along, we're going to make an app. So you should be in the same directory where you would normally run your uh, 
run server. Fucking type. Yeah. So all we do is we write start app and we type blog. Very important for the upcoming. And that's it. So pretty straightforward. And we'll get some. That should refresh for me. There we go. So now we have a, a few folders now. Um, and we do need to do some things with them. All right, so we do need a couple folders and files. So we're going to go new directory. This might look different, obviously, in your system. So we're just going to call this one templates. And we're going to make a new file for that one. And we're just going to call it template underscore one dot HTML. And we're just going to paste these tags in there. Pretty simple. Hit save. Now we'll give you this as well. So you can just copy and paste as easy as that because that's the way you want it to be. And let's move on to the next task, which is your settings. All right, we're back. We're looking at your settings file. And this one we're going to add some apps to your um, installed apps. So we're going to start with uh, Django CMS and admin. Um, so this one has to be before all of them. Uh, there is a reason for that. And then we are going to add their suggested ones as well, which are some of those ones we've installed in the requirements file. So if you didn't install them, then um, you will have to remove some of these. I'm just going to remove this one. As I said, I'll put these in the notes on the website. And as for your middleware, same kind of thing. Got another one that has to be before for middleware. And we've got a few more for after. It's looking good. And then we're down to templates. And then last one, we have to add some extra notes, which is another copy and paste, very handy. And then this template will be a bit more, um, you'll see it in the future, we have to create one uh, for your blog. It's similar to um, your base or your default, um, but yeah, you can make up one just for your blog which we'll play around with a bit with that later. Cool, let's move on to the next file. And you'll see that there's a couple red lines. It's to do, or well, a red line, sorry. That's not very handy. It's to do with not putting a bracket at the end. Cool. Easy fixed. All right, move it along. This one's an easy one, so we've gone to our URLs.py and we're just going to add to the bottom or wherever uh, repath. Doesn't like that. We're just going to import that one too, which I thought I had that one imported. Cool. Let's import include. Django URLs include. So we did have to import repath and include. For some reason I didn't have that in there. So add that to the notes. Cool. Um, this is one of the good things about a good tool like um, PyCharm as well. If it's missing something, it will automatically ask. And as you see, um, it was that easy to add it again. Rather than when you go to run um, the server, it will flag it up that it's missing. This will catch it before you even get to that. Very cool tool. All right, so now we're up to almost the end. So we do need to migrate our uh, settings that we did get from a uh, Django CMS. So this is going to push all them into your database. Uh, 
Django CMS does have a checker as well, which we can run, which is just CMS check. And look at that, it's come back okay. That's good news. <laughs> uh, I was a little bit worried I've forgotten something. I haven't done this in a couple of months. So let's run the server. See what that comes up with. And we've got our local development site. Let's see if it loads for us. And it does. How's that? Now we haven't actually added any pages or anything here. All right, so now that the page sort of works, so CMS does need a few extra things in the base, if you call it your base.html. So just here, I'll just put um, uh, this in particular, these two lines. Normally you have your load static, but this has the extra CMS tags and the render block, as well as down further, I'm not even sure how to pronounce that, Sigaze, possibly tags and down further as well where you would normally put your block content you've got some specialized Django CMS stuff as well so you got your CM C CMS toolbar which will render um, and your content as well as your JavaScript as well if there is any so yeah so then we'll come back to here um, and we'll go to admin first thing you need to do as well for here um, in sites, it'll be example.com. So we might as well change that to whatever your site is. Management.com. Hit save. Job done. Now, pages. You want to make a new page. I call this one blog. So this is pretty much going to be. Um, the start of your blogging pages. So it would be say quick, actually it's probably easier to type it. So you got quicktimemanagement.com slash blog. So everything will be at that slash blog. And this is where that site starts. All right. So I'm just going to call it blog. I'm going to save. And we're going to edit this one as well. And this is an important part. So we come to advanced settings and we want to overwrite that URL to blog. So then it actually sits there at that location. Cool. Hope that makes sense. So now let's make a new web page and let's just say, I want to make money. Who doesn't want to make money? And we'll just call it this for meantime. And now what we want to do for all of our blogs now, we want them underneath this one. So you can just, um, so now every page, for instance, if we view this one, it'll be underneath that blog. So there's nothing here because it's blank. So we can add a text, for instance, want to make more money. Sure, we'll just have that as a heading. And does this work? Hopefully so. Cool. And we'll save. So now it pops up and we can just publish. Are you sure you want to publish? Job done. So this doesn't obviously, um, we haven't grabbed our base HTML into that template one from earlier. So I won't go into that because it's kind of tedious and it's very, very specific to what you want it to look like. You might want it to look like your um, current website. You might not. You might want it to just be like a whole different theme altogether, but that's where you would customize that one. So let's go back to admin because we didn't publish any changes to that page, so it won't be there. So pages, blog, oh, it didn't work. Let's go back pages blog. Is it still in the blog? Settings. Are you able to blog? Yes, yes, yes. Here it's from company redirect. Yes. Save. Hmm. Unpublish changes. Oh. 
English. So there shouldn't really be anything on this one. Why is it redirecting me there? There we are. So there's nothing on here. So we can add something here. Bug website. Now I'm going to spend lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of hours making blogs for fun. How about that? Cool. So save, publish, cool. So I'll leave it at that. As I said, you can edit the theme so this actually looks a bit nicer rather than just pure text. Um, but that's how you'd go about making pages and new pages. Um, if you're not f familiar with Django CMS, it's, uh, it's okay. Um, you know, what else? There's not a lot of other options. There is Wagtail I've had a look at. It seems about the same-ish. Um, I have thought about not even using one to be honest because, yeah. But this does have its uh, features and we want to edit it. They do have some plugins, the ones that I um, we had installed earlier. So you got links and Google Maps and files and videos and stuff. So if you got a, um, a link to like some sort of YouTube video, it kind of looks pretty good on it. Django CMS itself, it, it's also a um, paid thing as well. You can get um, support through them. Um, it's not something I would support. It's, uh, you know, I just use it to write some blogs and sort of make it look pretty now and then. Um, that's debatable as well. <laughs> um, but cool. I hope, I hope this was uh, informative and, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll put the links below. Comment, like, and subscribe. Um, yeah, it can be a bit tricky, this one, to set up, especially with a working one. Working with website, I mean. But, yeah, I hope... Uh, yeah, hope this was educational. Thanks, guys.